What's up YouTube, Adam here. Now in this video I've got something just a little bit different for you. For those of you that follow me on social media, and I'll leave links to all of my social media down below, you'll know that recently, literally over this last couple of days, I've upgraded to six 4K screens. Now the ones I decided to go for were the Dell P2715Q. They're IPS screens and I went for that because I don't really care about response times and I wanted the improved uh, screen of the IPS panel. Panel. So I got them all hung up and installed knowing full well that they weren't going to work with my Mac Pro. Over on Apple's website they clearly tell you that you can only have up to three 4K monitors working with the Mac Pro. Now since posting these pictures on social media a lot of people have said how on earth did you do it and that is what this video is all about. Well this is how I did it. I went out and purchased these three USB 3 to display port adapters and these will play 4K display no problem. Of course I didn't. That would be ridiculous. This is what I did. Now this is what we call an eGPU, an external GPU, and what you can see here is an AMD 7970, although a whole bunch of other cards can be utilised for this, also a Sonnet case as well. Now if you want to buy one of these Sonnet external GPU cases, you can head over to a website which I will leave down in the video description, and that's where I got mine from, and they've got a whole range of different ones. The one I went for I'll come back to a little bit later on in the video, but anyway, First of all, you're going to need a power supply because the power supply inside the case is nowhere near enough to be able to run the 7970 or the GTX 970 or whatever it is card that you decide to go for. So I've got here the Corsair CX750 and I simply went ahead and used the little short trick with a paper clip to make sure it powered on without being connected to a motherboard. And then I used a couple of the PCIe connectors to power my 7970. Now once you've got all of that in place inside the Sonnet chassis, you've got all of the power connected up and everything else, at that point you've essentially got yourself a really powerful external GPU. Now to make this easier to see, I've connected this up to my MacBook Pro rather than having it all hidden away behind my Mac Pro. And what you can see here is a Thunderbolt cable going into the back of the Sonnet Thunderbolt chassis. We've got the graphics card in there and the fans are all whirling away, no problem whatsoever. And all of that again being powered by the Corsair CX750. You don't have to use that PSU, you can use any one that you like as long as it's got enough oomph to be able to power the graphics card or graphics card if you decide to go for an SLI that you want to run connected up to your Mac. Now this isn't only going to work on a Mac Pro, this will work on a MacBook Pro, anything with a Thunderbolt connection and this will also work in bootcamp with Windows. Now once this is connected and you've done a little bit of jiggery pokery with some of the uh, text files, there you go, you can see it straight away in the system profiler. We have got a Radeon HD 7970 and you can utilize that you can plug all your cards into the back of it uh, all of your monitors sorry into the back of it you can power up a whole bunch of monitors theoretically you could have literally loads of monitors all running from a MacBook Pro or even a MacBook Air now the Sonic case that I went for is actually a rack mounted case as you can see here and the reason I went for that is because I wanted a modular system where I could add in some more stuff as well. If I wanted like a PCI Express uh, SSD or something like that or I wanted another graphics card or whatever the case may be this is going to give me the actual scalability to be able to do that. Now the end result is that you have essentially got a ridiculously powerful graphics card connected externally to whatever computer you want so long as it runs Thunderbolt and the actual end result really is something special but as I was setting this up I thought to myself I wonder what happens when you go ahead and plug in more than the three 4k screens that Apple say the Mac Pro trash can can support so that's what I did and would you believe it it actually worked it powered all six 4k screens at 60 hertz no problem whatsoever I was absolutely flabbergasted now just to show you here exactly what I've got you can see I've got all six screens all connected up to a local graphics card that is the two graphics cards that are built into the Mac Pro and if we go into the uh, system profiler you can see again I've only got two graphics cards connected to this machine again built into the Mac Pro and then you can see all of them except one running at 60 hertz 
hertz. So all of these running at 60 hertz. Now it's my choice to not have that 6.1 running at, at 60 hertz because I wanted to free up a Thunderbolt port to use for other stuff and I don't need 60 hertz on all of the six monitors. So you can see here, one of them is connected up via the HDMI cable which knocks it down to 30 hertz and that also th frees up my final sixth Thunderbolt port for me to use for uh, external storage etc etc. So absolutely incredible, Apple lied or they got it wrong, who knows. You can see here I am running El Capitan and if you're thinking oh it must be a new thing in El Capitan, it's not because I got this working on Yosemite first and then I upgraded to El Capitan. And the Mac Pro supports these six 4K screens absolutely splendidly. They work perfectly well for my needs. These are 1080p and 4K videos running on YouTube, VLC, and also uh, in another media player all across the screens, and they work perfectly. I am literally over the moon. The only decision now is, do I go all out for a Titan on the external GPU, or do I just let the Mac Pro take care of it? Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do go ahead and hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you want more videos like this. And I will see you all in the next one. See ya. This video was sponsored by Your Company Mobiles, providing SMEs throughout the UK with mobile, landline and converged solutions. Visit www.yourcompanymobiles.com or call 0800 038 5363.